Hey everyone, this week we're going to be taking a look back at one of my close encounters that I had with a pretty good 8-pointer this past fall. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a frustrating hunt because I messed up big time. But this deer come walking out about 50, 55 yards away and just continued to walk away. And there was nothing I could do because I never packed my grunt too. So all I could do was just sit there and watch this deer walk away from me. You know, if I would have brought that with, I think I could have turned this deer and brought him in a little closer because the next day my cousin actually sat in this exact spot and this deer came out with the deer about the same size and he was sparring with this other buck. So, you know, there, there was a little feistiness in the air. So I think if I would have hit a little soft grunt with this deer, he probably would have turned it and probably worked his way in towards me where I could have got a little better shot. But, you know, at 50, 55 yards, I'm not gonna try stopping that deer and taking a shot that far out. You know, that deer's gonna be on pins and needles. It's gonna jump the string and you have no idea where your arrow's gonna go after that. So I like to just to sit there and watch this deer walk away, but pretty cool encounter. And you know, it was pretty exciting just to see a deer of that caliber. I saw some deer, you know, throughout the year, but that was probably the biggest deer that I saw. So thanks for tuning in this week and I hope you enjoyed my encounter. Hopefully you're getting out there doing some shed hunting. I know Travis, he snuck out a little early and went out there and he actually found a pretty good shed. So. Uh, we're going to get out there this next weekend and hopefully bring you some action. <laughs>